Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Deep Learning Biology. Yes, in today's class, we are going to discuss some basic thing related to liquid scintillation counter. Yes, I just want to tell you, liquid scintillation counter, it is also known as liquid scintillation spectrophotometer. And you must remember that the liquid scintillation counter, it is widely used for quantification of radioactivity in any of the sample. Yes, here I just want to tell you, if your sample, it is going to have low amount of radioactivity or it is emitting very low amount of radiation, even those signals can be quantified using a liquid scintillation counter. Yes, your sample, it may have alpha radiation, beta radiation and if your sample is emitting weak signal of alpha radiation and weak signal of beta radiation, then those signal can be easily quantified by using liquid scintillation counter. Now try to see here, when we are going to perform liquid scintillation counting, in actually we are going to first mix our sample with a cocktail of organic solvent. Now try to see here, if your sample it is organic in nature, then you have to mix well the sample by using a lipophilic cocktail. Yes, if your sample it is aqueous in nature, means it is going to have water content. Even though if it is organic in nature and it is going to have some amount of water, in that case also always remember your sample must be mixed by using emulsifying cocktail. Yes, here I just want to tell you that this is your glass vial in which you are going to mix your sample with the cocktail. And here I just want to tell you generally the borosilicate pyrex glass it is widely used as the vials. Now try to see here first we have to thoroughly mix so that we are going to have a homogeneous mixture. It is being done by performing good mixing. Yes, here you must remember if your sample is organic in nature, you have to dissolve in lipophilic organic solvent. Yes, if your sample it is going to have any amount of water, then you have to emulsify it. Yes, here I also want to tell you that generally plastic wires or micro plates they can be used for the mixing and detection of the radioactivity. Now coming to the next point here I have just mentioned that your LC cocktail it can be two types. In one type you are going to have aromatic organic solvent plus scintillators. Yes in another type you are going to have organic solvent, scintillators and the surfactant. Yes, you know very well the surfactant, they are going to work like a emulsifying agent. So these cocktail are being used when you are going to have a aqueous sample and this cocktail it is being used when you are going to have a organic sample. Now we will try to understand how actually by using a liquid scintillation counter we quantify radioactivity. Now let us try to understand what is actually a scintillator. Now here I just want to tell you the scintillators they are actually the floor or the chemicals which are actually going to emit light when they are being excited by radiation. Now try to see your scintillators they are actually the crystals 
they are going to emit light when they are being excited by radiation and yes this phenomena of emission of light it is known as the luminescence so always remember the scintillators they are going to show you the phenomena of luminescence yes now we are going to discuss the basic fundamental principle the working of the liquid scintillation spectrophotometry now try to see here your sample it is radioactive element and it is emitting some kind of radiation which can be alpha or the beta radiation now these alpha or the beta radiation they are actually going to have some energy yes this energy will be captured by the organic solvent now try to see here your radioactive element it is emitting radiation and with this radiation is associated an energy and this energy is being captured by the organic solvent now the organic solvent will transfer the energy to the scintillators now upon getting energy these scintillators they are being excited so here the electrons within the scintillators they are going to go in the excited state now whenever anything it is going to enter in the excited state it will also enters into the ground state so when these compounds the scintillators they are coming back into the ground state they are going to emit light yes this light will be captured by the photo multiplier tube and you are going to get the signal so this is the basic principle how the radioactivity is being measured by using a liquid scintillation counter in a simplified way i just want to tell you that yes your radioactive molecule it can be a weak beta emitter yes it is going to emit radiation and it is going to have some kind of energy yes this energy will be captured by the organic solvent and yes now the organic solvent will transfer that energy to the scintillators or the flower molecules now the flower molecules they are going to into the excited state and upon returning back to the ground state they are going to emit light and this light signal will be detected by the detector and now try to see here if you are going to have more radiation more light will be emitted so this way we can quantify how much radioactive element it is present within any sample hopefully you have learned thoroughly what is the basic principle behind liquid scintillation counter thank you for watching this i will be thankful to you if you can like and share this video yes if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel deep learning biology